Sean right here for Muscular Development TV. I'm in front of the world famous Gold's Gym with trainer to the stars, Charles Glass. You've been putting in some years here, Charles. Charles is a former national champion, Mr. Universe, 1983, and you've been here ever since doing the business inside there. You've seen the landscape of the people come and go. Um, what's the atmosphere like in there first, before we get to the interview, uh, with respect to bodybuilding? Well, it's nothing like it used to be. Because mm -hmm. remember, this was a bodybuilder's gym. Now it's more fitness oriented. Okay. But we still have our bodybuilders here. Speaking of bodybuilders, you've got Mr. Olympia in there, 2008. Dexter the Blade Jackson, five-time Arnold Classic champion. He's won over in Australia. He went down and won over in South Africa. He's won over in Spain. Uh, if he wins this Mr. Olympia, he becomes the winningest bodybuilder ever and has beaten everyone that he ever competed against, with the exception of Sean Ray. Hey! I, I think Sean Ray was before that. No, no, no. no. Dexter knows I love him. I, I caught Dexter uh, towards the end of my career, 99, 2000, 2001. Yeah, I that. But Dexter has beaten everybody that he stood on that stage and uh, arguably could have won the Olympia last year. And since you're working with him, give me a little bit of insight on where we're at with the 46-year-old Dexter Jackson. It's like working with a 36-year-old. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this man put the work in. He takes the proper amount of time off, let his body totally rest, so now he's ready to train, and he trains hard. He puts 110% in every single workout. Now, we, go, we goof off a lot, mm -hmm. but when it's get down to business, we're all about business. Well, he, he took the long way. He started out as a bantamweight and worked his way through. Uh, I, we refer to him as a vampire because the guy is still here. I mean, this is a guy that competed against Ronnie Coleman. He competed against Jay Cutler. He competed against myself. Another guy, Kevin Lavroni, coming back at the age of 52. Give me some perspective on what he's actually trying to do. I just think he needs a little bit more time to bring those legs up. But once he gets that back together, man, he, he'll pull a threat. Yeah, well, and that's what everyone, it seems like everybody that knows something about bodybuilding, they start with the legs because with age, it seems the legs are the first thing to go and the hardest thing to bring back. Um, with that being said, with all the knowledge that we know going into this contest, do you have any idea of where he might fit or is he just an X factor and we've got to let the chips fall where they may? I guess right now we would say let the chips fall where they may. But if he can pull his legs up, you'll see a different Kelvin LeBron on stage. But the bottom line of it is, not enough time. Right. And speaking of time, going for number six, Phil Heath. Is that something that Phil Heath is going to have a hard time doing? I mean, because listen, history has shown that Mr. Olympia uh, doesn't just get beat on stage. The last time we saw Mr. Olympia get beat on stage, I believe it was uh, uh, Phil Heath taking the title away from Jay Cutler. But you got to understand, Jay was hurt. Jay was injured. That was a different Jay on stage. And Jay Cutler was in his prime when Dexter Jackson wrestled it away. But we still got a long gap in between. That's six years ago almost. You're talking about when Dexter took it from Jay. Jay took Dexter light. You don't take that man light. Mm -hmm. That man's ready. Last year, Phil took him light. But he came back for the night show and looked a lot better. So he pulled it out. But he cannot take it light because I got two guys are looking for him. And that, They're gunning for him. And that other guy by the name of Sean Flexitron Roden, um, looking nothing short of amazing, keeping his weight small throughout his entire career. The knock on Sean Roden is the upper pecs and the arms and the back thickness. What have you guys done to correct that? You'll see that on stage. Mm -hmm. It's totally different this year. It's, it's thick. It's nice. You're going to see a different body on stage this year from it's, Sean Roden. And not only just a different body, but this is a father now. So how is his training um, attitude and approach to this as a business now that he is a father? He works harder mm -hmm. because now he has a family he got to take care of. It's not about him. It's about his family. What can we expect from Big Rami? Rami's shown glimpses of potential, but on the Olympia stage, he's yet to fully realize it. Fifth place ain't too bad, but he's still got a lot of work to do. What does he have to do to be in the mix? Maturity. Mm -hmm. Maturity sets in. You'll see something totally different. Once that maturity sets in for him, totally different person for him. And so the definition of maturity is what muscle separation, separation. has to bring up the calves, the back thickness? It, that would come up because he's young. His thickness in his back is still going to come, but it's time. you got to give it time. And once that time hit on that man, you're going to be a threat on that stage. Well, speaking of time, we saw Victor the Dominator win in uh, Baltimore. It wasn't standing up against an Olympia lineup, but I guess he's pushing somewhere around 43, 44 years old. What do you expect from Victor Martinez? Put it this way, that man, short to none, he's going to be there. Mm -hmm. He'll be right in the mix with everybody else. This is a competition where we're going to see some fresh blood. I mean, Dallas McCarver in his first Olympia didn't make the top ten, but arguably a lot of people had him in the top ten. Vastly improved. And then you got Justin Compton coming off the victory over in uh, Asia at the Arnold Classic. Are these two guys to watch out for? Soon to be a threat. Not quite yet, 
soon to be a threat. So where does that leave someone like a big William Bonac? He can't be five foot six, but tons of muscle. The thing about him, he has the muscle, but he needs a little bit more of the separation. Mm -hmm. He got to get that separation to come in. He'll be great. Tell me about uh, big Steve Kuklo. Came out here to California, won the California Pro. Steve needs to leave that little pond to get into the ocean and swim a little bit. He'll yeah. be all right. You think that if he was over here training with the boys that his training would go to the next level? Who, who has his gym? Who's at his gym? There's no one for him. Right. He, he can't look up to anyone. He needs someone to look up to to push him in even harder. And that man has a body. If you were to advise Kevin Lavroni coming back at 52 years old, because my advice for Kevin was to stay home. Don't do it. Um, don't put yourself in harm's way. It's a dangerous world out there when you go in and you try to do the things that you used to do 13 years ago. He's vastly improved in terms of size. We've got the conditioning is yet to come through. But would you have recommended that he might do something like that? Go over to Kuwait and train with the boys at Oxygen Gym. Come here and seek out the advice of someone like yourself. You know what? Wherever he goes, it would benefit him. He just can't stay home. He has to get out away from home and come on and do something with someone else. Let them push him. It would be much better for him. All right, final prediction. We're two and a half weeks away from the 52nd uh, Mr. Olympia. Give me your top three. I'm too biased with that. I'd rather <laughs> not say, but you know who the top three is going to be. It's going to be Phil, it's going to be Dexter, and it's going to be Sean Roden. They, those guys are going to be looking at them. Everyone else is going to be around the edges of that. Finally, will we be missing anything Olympia weekend without, in the absence of Kai Green and Dennis Wolf? We will be missing something, but the bottom line, we still have a great lineup. It's going to be great. All right. Charles Glass trained with literally everybody out there. Flex Wheeler, Paul Dillette, Chris Cormier. He's now working with Sean Roden and Dexter the Blade Jackson. Still doing the business after all of these years, man. Good to see you here in, uh, in Venice, and we'll see you in Las Vegas. Having fun. Love it. And I'll definitely be in Las Vegas. All right. Charles Cut Glass from MuscularDevelopment.com. I'm Sean Ray.